In 1882, Catholic missionaries brought the gospel to Papua New Guinea, and among the first to receive the faith were a village chief and his wife, who took as their baptismal names Angelo and Maria. They raised their six children in the faith, and one of them, Peter, wanted to be a priest, but was discouraged by his father who felt he was too young to make such a decision. Hello, I'm Father James Kubicki, and Peter's story shows how providence works, because in the end, Peter was able to do more than a priest could to help his people maintain the faith. Peter went to a school for catechists, and in 1936, he married Paola. In 1942, Japan invaded Papua New Guinea, and all the priests and religious sisters and brothers were sent to prisons. As a layperson, Peter was able to organize religious services where he taught the faith and encouraged people to remain steadfast. When the Japanese occupation force began reintroducing the practice of polygamy, Peter outspokenly opposed them and was arrested. He was killed on this day in 1945 and was beatified by Pope John Paul II in 1995, who said the following to the people of New Guinea. The martyr's example speaks also to married couples. Blessed Peter To Rot had the highest esteem for marriage, and even in the face of great personal danger and opposition, he defended the church's teaching on the unity of marriage and the need for mutual fidelity. For his children, he had the utmost affection and spent as much time with them as he could. If families are good, your villages will be peaceful and good. Hold on to the traditions that defend and strengthen family life.